Hello Coffeeholics, welcome back. Today is a special video tutorial. We are going to make a Starbucks coffee hack. One of the most popular drinks, Java Chip Frappuccino. Some of you requested for this video tutorial for me to show my own version of Java Chip Frappuccino. So I thought, why ever not? Before we start making our drinks, a bit of an introduction for those that do not know and for your own information. What exactly does Java mean? Java is a nickname of coffee. It's from Java, Indonesia. So when coffee was introduced in Southeast Asia, the Dutch planted coffee in Java, an island in Indonesia, and that's where Java came from. So it's a nickname for coffee. If you look at the dictionary, Java means coffee. So what it actually means is that it is a coffee chip, which is chocolate chip frappuccino. So that's exactly what we are going to make today. But typical of my channel, I make them cost-effective, simple, easier, and also as good. For this, I am going to make it even more special because I'm going to make two different recipes. One is using the espresso, just like the Starbucks would do. And for those without espresso, then I am also going to make a version which uses instant coffee. So definitely a coffee hack. So you can make this at home even if you don't have an espresso machine. So to start with, I am going to pull my espresso shot because I would like it to cool down for when we make our prop drinks. For our espresso shot, I am going to pull two shots. So I'm using a double basket here. Make sure it's dry. And I'm using my dark roast coffee beans. So I'm going to use a distribution tool here to level it and then tamp. So when you pull your espresso shots, make sure you clean this because you don't want any coffee grinds getting into your coffee. So make sure that is clean. Flush your group head. And we are going to pull our two shots of espresso. Two shots of espresso. I'm going to set it aside for now and we're going to let it cool down for our Let's start with our first java chip frappuccino using the espresso. So for this, we need one cup of ice, two ounces of milk syrup, half an ounce of chocolate syrup. You can use our homemade chocolate syrup if you can find the recipe. You may find it on this channel as well. Two tablespoons of chocolate chips, our chilled down espresso, two shots of espresso, and finally two teaspoons of our wrap base. One, two. So if you don't have wrap base, you may skip this, but the texture might not be the same. And now for our instant coffee java chip frappuccino, I am using Nescafe Gold Crema. This is supposed to be smooth and mild, 100% Arabica. And I am going to use one tablespoon of this instant coffee. You'd like it to be really strong because you would like the taste of the coffee to come out. I'm going to add hot water, just about 45 ml of hot water. Start to dissolve. Uh, this coffee seems to be smelling really nice and um, supposed to get to give a crema. Let's see if we get some crema here. Once again, let's get one cup of ice and then we're going to add the same 
my milk syrup, two ounces of milk syrup. Half an ounce of chocolate syrup. If you have a pump, then you don't have anything left here. So you may use a bottle with a pump. And then once again, our chocolate chip. There you go. Two scoops or two tablespoons. And then our coffee. This is the instant coffee base with crema. So I could really see the crema there. And then, yes, let's put it there. And then finally, our frappe base. Frappe base is similar to Starbucks's Frappuccino cream base. So two teaspoons there, and then we are ready to blend. Now it's time to try our java chip frappuccino using the espresso. Mm. Wow, I love the chips there and also the strong espresso. Rich, full body and chocolatey. Java chip frappuccino. No wonder a lot of people love this drink. That is absolutely delicious. And for the one using instant coffee. Mm. Well, I think the instant coffee is not as strong as the espresso for sure. And the taste of the chocolate chips is more prominent than the coffee. So perhaps using one tablespoon of instant coffee is just right for this drink. You should not put any less than this. Maybe you can also try the regular strong and smooth Nescafe flavor like those that are a blend of Arabica and Robusta but this is smooth and mild delicious too the taste of your java chip frappuccino will depend on the coffee that you use as well as the chocolate chip that you use well there you go very simple recipe Starbucks coffee hack java chip frappuccino if you have any questions at all about this recipe do let me know You'll find the recipes along with over 500 others in this book, The Basic Barista. Check out the description box below on how to order. In the meantime, don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Take care, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.